Hi guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. As you can see, Dre is currently cleaning his car for the swarm, which is tomorrow. What we are doing today is that we're installing the tag tow bar for the five door Jimny. So I've already installed it on my three door, but today we're gonna install this tow bar. It's quite simple, you can do it in your garage. We're actually in our new house now. So we moved in about three weeks ago. So we're super stoked just getting everything set up and we finally have a driveway to do stuff in, which is really good because as you might've seen in my previous YouTube videos, the property that we were renting uh, for a long period of time, it was just not any space to do anything. So super keen to get this going um, and we'll get into the tow bar install. So this is part one. So this will not feature the wiring of the actual tow bar that will come a bit later. So we'll just install the actual uh, tow bar now and show you a couple of extra things with it. So I think let's get started. So here we got all the parts uh, for the tow bar. So obviously uh, we got the tow bar here. What I really like about the tag tow bar is that it's very sleek and it goes like straight underneath the car. Like it doesn't stick out as much as the other tow bars I've seen on the market. Um, it comes with these um, attachments here. So basically it can be used as um, tow, I think tow recovery points as well. But you do have the recovery points on the side um, here. And it does come with um, the tow ball as well as the tow ball mount. And then we got the recovery hitch here. And then we got these spacer plates. So basically this is just to put in between the tow bar and this uh, bracket in case there's a little bit of space um, between when you actually installed, uh, installed the tow bar on the car. And then we got all the nuts and bolts here and the fitting instructions. So luckily because we did this yesterday, it's a quite a simple process for us to do today. Um, also won't be as much back and forth and fiddling around. Uh, so that's good. And then we got a couple of tools. So we got a, this is the 19 spanner. We've got screwdriver and we've got a plastic trimming tool to take off um, anything that we need to take off because you do technically need to take the bumper off. But what I did last time was that I took it off, but I kept the wiring still in on the right side. So I didn't actually have to, you know, take everything off. Um, yeah, and then we just got a spanner set here. So I think that's everything you're going to need. I don't think I've gotten anything. And we're gonna try and do this before the sun goes down because tomorrow we're going to the swarm and we don't really wanna be dealing with too much stuff in the morning because we're gonna be leaving really early. Um, so super excited to do that. Let's get going. So Dre is saying we don't have to take the bumper off. So let's see if that's gonna work. Yeah. Doing some uh, really thorough cleaning here. I'm making sure that you can see everything that is happening. And it looks nice and shiny. Yeah. So I'm not gonna embarrass myself when you're all gonna look at it. That's fair enough. Okay, so here we go. Under here, I'm not sure if you can see it properly, but um, we're gonna install it under here. Oh, up there. And uh, basically ready once he finishes up his Right, cleaning. <laughs> okay, we don't have much sunlight, so I think we need to start. All right. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so I'm we got these brackets here. So these are the ones that we got to put in there in order for us to actually screw through and attach the um, these hooks. So we'll show you how we do that. Yesterday I was a bit fiddling around because we didn't know how to do it, uh, but today we know how to do it. So it's gonna go a bit quicker for us. Follow the instructions, everyone. And you got the sticker if you need it, but it's already on, but um, there's an extra one in terms of the towing capacity. So what I do now is that I bend this out so that we can literally like put it into the chassis area. So I'll just fold these ones out like that. So they're like straight. So I'm going to, if you can turn get into the chassis rail without taking the bumper, which I don't think you can. Okay. Oh, uh, easier. Actually. You could. I might be able to. So it's going in, in this area here. So that one's basically going to be on the inside. <sighs> Technically, we don't want to remove the bumper, so we'll see how we go. Okay, so we figured out that we're going to loosen just this one uh, because that will enable us to actually get the uh, bumper a bit further away from the chassis and then we'll be able to get that part in. So, so I'm opening up that now. Can 
get this guy in here. Okay, so now I just got to busy make sure that I can bend this pole the right way. Okay, there you go. Yeah, okay, so there I got it. Cool. So what I've done now is that I pulled the bumper out and then now you can see in there that the bracket is aligned with the holes under here. So what we're now going to do is take the actual um, bracket for the tow bar and install it under here. So I'm gonna do this side and then Drake can do the other one because I'm lazy. Then you gotta hold the bumper while I do that. Oh, ow. I think I should be able to hold it a bit higher because it's pulling the screw down. Okay, I'm screwing through that bolt now. Basically, I got the bolt in on the side there and now I'm just screwing it tight. So now the only thing is that you've got to get in something to hold the bolt when you're screwing. We got it hanging from that bolt under there. So now I gotta need your, I'm gonna need your help to hold the tow recovery thing. Dude, I got it in the first go. How so. amazing is this? Very wonky, guys. Oh, there you go. So it's getting pretty tight now. Obviously you wanna make sure it's pretty tight because it's a tow hook. So the only thing now that is a little bit challenging is screwing that, um, this one on. So now we obviously got those two on, uh, but we wanna screw the little one on or like bolt it on. I like to say screw, I'm so sorry. It's not the right terminology, I've been told. You can help me do that. Over to Dre, he's gonna do the other side because my arms are just dead from <laughs> doing that. Look at sunset, it's beautiful. Gotta work for it, dude. Let's loosen that bolt Yeah. on the bumper, on the bottom. Under here. I mean, look, it's definitely easier if you would do this with the bumper off, but it's definitely possible. So now we're gonna do the tow bar. So we got the uh, attachments on, on each side. Uh, we haven't tightened them fully. Uh, so we're gonna do that once we actually get the tow bar on. So what you then do is like you got all the nuts ready, washers on, so you got four each. So you just prepare all of them like that. This is like the easy part. Here are the spaces. So we put them in, in between here. So here goes on. Okay, I got one in. Here. So then getting that one on. I'm getting this one on. I think it's right. Just can't see. And then there's one in the back there as well. There's one. So you see there's some of them that might not go as easily in, like up here. So I'll show you guys. So this one up here is not as easy to get in. So just gotta just wiggle it in. Gotta wiggle it in. Oh no. You are the king of loosing bolts. Oh, you're like, you like, a is it not? <laughs> not. It's a knot. <laughs> it's a knot. <laughs> it's a knot. Absolute knot. knot. You king nut, that's what you are. Shit. See, you lost it again. <laughs> oh, this You're is, actually unbelievable. This is way too tight on me. I need a lift. <sighs> yeah, you definitely need a lift. So now we're just gonna tighten it. All yeah. under there, you yeah. can do that. Here, here you go. Okay. I need a, where's the spanner? It's like what you end up doing on a Friday afternoon because you've been busy doing everything else in life. But luckily, this is a pretty easy mod. Like it's not a... Super easy. Yeah, it's not anything like installing... Like even the exhaust is simple to install, but it takes time because you've got to fiddle around with maybe rusty bolts from your old exhaust and all that stuff that takes ages. But um, but this is pretty easy, which is good. I'm letting him do the hard work on his own car. Because uh, I've proudly done my three-door. 
Yeah, so now it's basically just tightening it and then you've got it going here. And you can see what I really like about it is that it doesn't stick a lot out. Like it's very sleek. It looks like it's a part of the car. And I think a lot of these tow bars often look like they're like, you know, you can see they're attached up. Like they don't they look as... Like sore yeah, like they just don't look as great. And like, you know, we see that with this tag bar, like it's so sleek in the design. It's very... It's not big, like it's not massive and takes up heaps of space and stuff, so. Okay. It's just, uh, it's just the front one. Okay. Oh. Well, you can actually... Yeah. You can go in from there. From where? From that side. Oh. Really? Yeah. That is so easy. And the other part that we are going to do, um in a few weeks. Camping. Are we gonna go camping? Um, I'm not, I'm cramping. Oh, you cr <laughs> <laughs> uh, We're going to install the, the wiring as well. So we're going to do that in a part two, so that's gonna come out. Uh, but right now, at least we got the tow bar going and it's looking pretty good. Um, so here we've got the, um, Tag tow bar online. That is pretty sick. If I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Like it is, sits so well on there. So basically, just doing the final tightening of the bolts, and honestly, that's it. Like it's not a hard install. Like the other things that we do have now is um, the tow ball that comes with it. So um, let's see if I can get it out. It's heavy. So there you go, so that's the tow ball, we got that in here. We got the tow ball mount that you put on and we got the recovery hitch. So, you know, if you're going off-road, good to put this one on, uh, especially going up Fraser and things like that. You know, every time you go off-road, good to put that on. Um, other than that, you know, if you're gonna tow anything, um, it does, the Jimny can't really tow like really heavy stuff. So yeah, just keep that in mind if you're towing stuff. Um, but yeah, you get all these extra accessories with it, which is really good. And then you got the wiring harness coming in the next video that we're gonna do, so. So to tighten this this bolt here, yeah. it's so much easier to go in from Oh, the you're going there. So you can just shove a spanner in there <laughs> and then okay. ratchet this one tight as. They thought this through, haven't they? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Boom. Oh, then you know, guys, don't do the hard way and hold the bumper away. You can actually just access it from in there. So this is just really a quick install to show you how easy it is to install the tow bar in your driveway um, or wherever you are, in your garage. Doesn't matter as long as you've got a little bit of space. You can even you... do it in the car park, it's that quick. Yeah, you can do it in a car park, worst case. So um, so that's, that's it on. And again, we thought that you know with this tag tow bar it looks so sleek it has recovery points like it serves a lot of purpose in terms of um not some for not for someone who is towing something all the time it's still great to have on there for recovery points and and other things so um, definitely worth getting uh if you haven't gotten any recovery points on your car already and um it doesn't you know screw up the the, the look of the car i think it um, looks really good on. It looks like it's part of the car. It doesn't stick out in any weird shape or form. So, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we got some other cool things we're installing as well uh, on the Jimny. So not only on the five door, but on my three door as well. So I think for this video, we're pretty much wrapped up. There's not much more to show you guys. It is a very quick and easy install. Check out the uh, tag tow bus on their website. And yeah, I'll probably see you here for the next video for the actual wiring of everything. So stay tuned and uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.